to make lamb chops with rosemary, lemon, garlic and olive oil. And these are really, really nice. So you're going to do them in the oven um, and I'll preheat the oven to about 200 degrees actually. I want, want it quite hot because it gets them nice and crispy on the outside but still pink in the middle which is how I like it. If you want them to be less pink in the middle and more well done, I suggest you turn the oven down to about 180 for um, a, a fan oven. In fact, actually no, probably about 160 for a fan oven. Um, but I like them quite pink so I'll, say, I'll keep them as they are. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to marinate these in this first um, and it's really so but I just use the packet that they come in you don't need to use an extra bowl and make extra, um, more washing up for yourself so I'm going to just squeeze these cloves of garlic over the lamb very straightforward and then I'm going to just mush them over and then I'm going to add my lemon juice, it's a juice of half a lemon, over the top. My olive oil, and it's probably, it's just really a, a swizzle, it's probably about a, a tablespoon of olive oil, maybe even less, because it goes quite a long way. And um, I'm just going to remove the rosemary from the thick stalks just to pop it on top and if you kind of squeeze it while you're doing it it starts to let out the oils in the rosemary so you get those nice flavours and, and that's going to be cooked as it is with all this on top of it um, I'm going to season it with salt and pepper and then I'm going to leave that and I'll probably leave that for an hour or two um, the longer the better really so that you can get the flavours on it this is really nicely done on a barbecue as well in the summer, um, if you get the chance. So I'll leave that for an hour and then I'll put it in the oven. Hi, to go with my, um, the lamb, I'm going to do a broccoli souffle. It's not really a souffle, but it kind of does souffle up. Um, I've got about 150 grams of broccoli, which I've quartered and cooked. And then I refreshed it in some cold water so it didn't discolour it can go quite brown if you leave it um, if you leave it to, to carry on cooking I've got a custard here which is actually made up of um, one egg about 10 millilitres of, of milk not much and a couple of tablespoons full of um, mayonnaise just any just your jar mayonnaise which is fine so that's going to I mix that together whisk it together and then you've got it's quite a sort of a, it is just a custard consistency um, now I'm going to put a couple of quarters of broccoli in each of these um, muffin tin moulds. These have been oiled. I've oiled these um, with some light olive oil. So I've probably got enough for about, um, yeah, I've got enough for five there. So <clears throat> now I'm going to just pour over the custard. If you haven't got enough, um, you can always make a bit more. I should have enough now, I think. Um, just pour it over, it does souffle up um, and it is important that the broccoli is cooked first through first because it, it, it won't cook, um, it doesn't take long for this to cook at all. I'm going to put this in the same oven as I'm putting the lamb um, and this should take about the same amount of time, I'm expecting the lamb to take probably about um, 25 minutes and this should take about the same amount of time. You can tell when it's done though because it's nice and will be nice and brown on the top. So those hopefully will come out whole and they can be served with the lamb. I'm also going to serve the lamb with some butternut squash which I'm just going to, um, to boil through um, like I would mashed potato and then let the water drain off and mash it with some sage. So there you have it, broccoli soup. Right, I'm going to put the lamb in the oven now. Um, I've put the oven, I have put the oven on about 180, not 200, that probably was a bit too hot. Um, I'm going to put the lamb in the top of the oven. And then below it I'm going to put the broccoli souffles. So those should take 20 to 25 minutes. I've got a pan with some butternut squash in and just about, quite a small amount of water at the bottom. I'm going to put a lid on that and I'm going to more or less steam the butternut squash because it is quite moist already. Um, I don't want too much water in there and then we'll mash that at the end. So um, we'll leave the lamb 
and the soufflés. And um, see you in 25 minutes. Okay, and here we have lamb chops with broccoli souffle and mashed butternut squash with sage. And I seasoned that with salt and pepper as well.